this is going to be a different kind of video. I'm not going to bother with editing or getting like footage or images of what I'm of what I'm about to talk about because I really don't think it's worth it. Instead, I'm I'm going to show you some footage, some YouTube footage of someone playing Virtual Fighter. Basically, this topic is about Mary Jane Watson from Spider Man, and how I don't really like her. Why I ch I want to do this? Simple. For a while, I never really liked Mary Jane, and I want to talk to someone about why I don't like her. I figured this is the best way to do it. Well, maybe there is a another way, but I just this is just how I want to do it. Basically. I don't have too much information about her from the comics, mainly because the comics just do whatever they want with the characters. But when it comes to, to the, like, say, movies, TV shows, stuff like that, her character always seems so selfish, clingy, and possessive. Basically, Mary Jane, he, she doesn't seem to care that Peter has other priorities. She thinks she should be his top priority, despite the fact that he has schoolwork and a job and a sick aunt who constantly has heart attacks. To be simple, she's kind of selfish and makes me wonder why does Peter want to date her if she doesn't understand that he has all these problems or even cares. Then there's the fact that she's clingy and possessive of him. When, when they're going out, she, Peter can't talk to another girl without her thinking, he's cheating on me. What do, I, what do I mean by that? Simple. In a 90s cartoon, Peter's friend Felicia, who is a girl, boyfriend went missing, and she knows she has a boyfriend, and she knows that he's missing. I'm, t I'm talking about Mary Jane. About the, uh, basically, Mary Jane knows everything that's going on, that Felicia's boyfriend's missing, and when Peter tries to comfort her, tell her that everything's going to be alright, Mary Jane, instead of asking Peter what's going on, she assumes he's cheating on her and ambushes him at his own house and storms off angrily. She doesn't seem to care about other people other than herself. And the show seems to try to justify this by saying, by, by constantly bringing up that she had a sad past, but that but that doesn't change the fact that she's acting kind of selfish and possessive of Peter. It also doesn't help that even her, her relationship with Harry doesn't seem to help. When when someone in the episode of, that introduces the Green Goblin, some guy is kidnapping, like the Green Goblin of course, is kidnapping a bunch of people and she assumes Harry only to discover it wasn't Harry. And she never even apologizes for it. Like, she, Harry probably didn't know, but but she thanks Peter for for having Harry's back because honestly, she didn't even have his back. So she she, so she, she doesn't really thank him so much as saying he's a good friend. Also, but Mar here's the thing: Mary Jane wasn't a good friend. Or a girlfriend. She was dating Harry at this point. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. But she was immediately quick. She was, she immediately thought it was Harry. And it doesn't help that like the movies is basically the same thing. Harry's dad is being a jerk to her. And she blames Harry for, for it. Harry did defend her. And Mary Jane's like, thanks for defending me. He did defend her. What was she, what, did she expect more? Did she want more? What does Harry have to do for her to finally get that he likes her? I mean, the guy went crazy over the fact that she dumped him. And then there's the CGI series that created by Mainframe Inter Entertainment. There, she just comes off as sort of an ice queen. I don't really get the, her relationship there. But, but, but to put it simple, I don't really like her in like, almost none of the Spider-Man continuities on television or movies.